Olá pessoal, welcome to Kingdom Influencer. I pray that you guys are doing well. I just want to give a really quick and short word. The Lord has been speaking to me out of the book of Exodus, and the word that I have um comes from Exodus chapter 15 starting from verse 22 all the way to the end to verse 27. Um because of time because of time on my side I'm not going to read the scripture but we know that in the scripture it speaks about the children of Israel coming out of Egypt and Moses was leading them you know away from the Red Sea and for three days they were in the desert and in verse 22 it says that they traveled this desert for three days without finding any water I want to just stop right there how many of us God has delivered, God has opened doors, God has shown us a way and God has spoken, God has given signs, God has given us some type of breakthrough and we look at this breakthrough and we say this breakthrough is going to lead me into this promised land. This breakthrough has opened the doors, has opened the way for the promised land. So we go on this journey, right? we go on this walk we are on this walk of faith trusting and believing god for what he has said trusting and believing that on this journey during this time we are going to find what we need we are going to find what god has spoken to us about the children of israel went 3 days without finding any water On verse 23 it says when they came to the oasis of of Mara the water was too bitter to drink so they called the place Mara which means bitter We are on this journey we ask God God bless us we ask God God the promise that you have given like let it come to pass and God confirms God speaks you know what you are on the right path carry on walking this path carry on doing this carry on doing that um you know you just know that you are on this journey and any time from now you are going to bump into what you were looking for any time for now from now the promise that god has spoken over your life is going to come to pass you will sense it you are confident you have the conviction you have the faith that any time from now what god has said he is going to do but then that blessing comes in a form that you don't recognize something happens along this journey right what was supposed to be refreshing what was supposed to be good what was supposed to be pure turns out being bitter during this journey you encounter certain things that make you feel like you are not going to live what god said where you feel like i have been on this journey for way too long and i'm not seeing the manifestation instead of me getting the thing that will refresh me the thing that will bring me joy the thing that god said that he was going to give me i am encountering bitter situations i am encountering bitter people i am encountering people situations that instead of bringing me hope they are putting me in distress they are adding to my worry them being in the desert thirsty finding water finally what they were looking for taking a gulp of that water and that water being bitter it could have been bitter to the point where you couldn't even drink it and i believe that there are people that have kind of hit a roadblock a roadblock not really being a roadblock but a roadblock but i'm saying a roadblock because you've encountered this you are experiencing this when you know that you are supposed to be experiencing something else when you know you are supposed to be living something else the children of israel saw an oasis they saw 
plenty of water. They saw what their spirit was already speaking to them about. But it was bitter. And they complained. I have had my good fear of complaining done. I have complained. You have complained. We have all complained. And they said, what are we going to drink? They demanded. They looked at that water and they saw that it was good for nothing. It was just as good as not having any water. You might be thinking, me being in this situation, it is just as good as me being where I was. At least where I was, there was this. At least where I was, I could do this. At least where I was, I had people that were helping me. At least where I was, I had the support of my family. At least where I was, I didn't have to deal with all these emotions. Verse 25, it says, So Moses cried out to the Lord for help. And this is what the Lord wants us to do. Just three days ago, the Lord said to me, Jess, I want your prayers to be directed to me and I want your prayers to be about what you need to know. The Lord kind of told me that this month, he wants me to seek him concerning the stuff that he has said, concerning the things that I have to do. He wants me to go directly to him and ask concerning me. He wants me to take time and focus on me, focus on what he wants from me, focus on what he wants to do. And I can only know what God wants to do through me if I go to him, if I cry out to him, if I ask him things concerning me. And this is what God is saying to you right now. The roadblock that you have encountered, the bitter waters that you have encountered, cry out to me. Speak to me. Come and require. Come and request of me. Like Moses did. Moses cried out to the Lord. And then the Lord showed him a piece of wood. The situation that you are in right now. Like I, like I said in last week's um, video. God has already planned everything. God has already orchestrated everything for you. And right now, the situation that you are living, this experience that you are in, you are going to have a different view of it if you require of God, if you ask of God, if you cry out to God. And when you cry out to God, he is going to give you the next instructions to make sure that that promise is fulfilled, to make sure that that promise comes to pass. My mom always says that God is not a God that does things halfway. God didn't give them the water that they were, that they were crying out to, but those waters was, were, were bitter. God doesn't do things halfway. And whenever we feel that God has done something halfway, it is time for us to cry out, to inquire of him, to request of him, and to hear what it is that we need to do so that what we are living can be complete, so that what we are experiencing can be whole. And that's what Moses did. God showed him the piece of wood. So Moses threw the wood into the water, and this wood made the water good to drink. There is an instruction that God wants to give you to make your situation good, to make your situation pleasant, 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 (laughs) to make your situation desirable to you. But you need to require of God and you need to be obedient to what he says. Even the crazy thing that he is telling you to do, even that thing that makes no sense. How could a piece of wood turn the water sweet, turn the water good? It did that because it had the power. It had the anointing of God. It's because God sent forth an instruction. It's because God had already orchestrated it. The same way that he has orchestrated your life, what you are going through. 
It is all for your good. It is not to harm you. If you are in this journey and you are experiencing something that seems to be harming you, you are just at the point where you have encountered the oasis of bitter water. You need to require of God, cry out to God so that he can give you the instructions so that these waters are no longer better so that he can transform the situation so that he can transform your life so that he can do the complete and finished work that he has promised you so that that final picture that you have seen you can actually live it so i want to encourage you don't lose hope don't lose your faith carry on on this journey, on this walk that you are in. But don't forget to cry out to God. Don't forget to hear what the Lord is saying. In verse 26, it says, He said, If you listen carefully to the voice of the Lord your God and do what is right in His sight, obeying His commands and keeping all His decrees, then I will not make you suffer any of the diseases I have sent on the Egyptians, for I am the God who heals. We read that in the beginning, it says to carefully obey the voice of the Lord your God. In order to obey his voice, we first need to hear it. We need to hear the voice of God. And right now, he wants you to hear his voice. He wants you to hear his instructions. He wants you to hear the divine instructions that he wants to give you. But you need to take time and go to him. You need to take time to cry out to him. You need to take time and say, Lord, your servant is here and I I am listening. I am listening to hear from you concerning the situation, to hear from you concerning this bitter water. What do you require of me? What do I need to do to transform this bitter water into normal drinking water so that your name can be glorified? Because you are not a man that you shall lie. You're not, you are not a man that you do things halfway. You are not a God that does things halfway. You are a complete God. You are a whole God. You are a perfected God. So whatever needs to be done, whatever I need to put, whatever action I need, whatever action that I need to do to complete this, then tell me what it is that I need to do. Whatever act that I need to do, tell me. Because faith without works, it's dead. So whatever work that I need to put into this, Lord, just tell me. Your servant is here and I am listening. This is a word that I wanted to share with you guys. Umbeju, I love you guys. Bye-bye.